Hello and welcome. Uh, this video is a full step-by-step -step tutorial for default bucket and tech servers on Windows 7. I will provide links for Windows XP on the first two, although I cannot provide full support for that. Uh, I'll also include a short tutorial for Hamachi if you want to use that. Um, there are also annotations that you can see now that will take you to relevant sections of the video when clicked. So without further ado, let's get started. Now to begin, what we're going to do is set up a static IP address. Now, in order to do this, what you want to do is you want to press Windows key and R, and this will bring up the run box. What you type in here is you type in CMD, and you click OK. In this window, what you need to do is type in ipconfig slash all, and this will bring up all of your networking information. Now, scroll up to where you have Ethernet adapter local area connection, and then you want to find your IPv4 address, which is here, the subnet mask, and your default gateway. Now, because we're setting our own static address, mm -hmm. uh, if you want to, set it as the one that you've already got. Or you can change it to something easier to remember. It's your choice. Now, what you need to do is you need to copy down your subnet mask, your default gateway, and your DNS servers here. Now, I've already copied this information down ahead of schedule, so uh, we'll leave that. Now, with this information, I need to set my static IP. So I want to click on Start, click on Control Panel, and then go into Network and Internet. From here, I go into the Networking and Sharing Center and click Change Adapter Settings. Now, because I have Hamachi, I have Hamachi Network Interface here, but we don't need that. We want this local area connection. Right-click that, select Properties, and then you're looking for TCP IPv4. You click that, hit properties, and then all this information that you have wants to go where your DNS servers here want to go where your DNS servers are here. By default, it will be obtain an IP address automatically and obtain DNS. So you want to select those to use the following. So put your DNS addresses in. They have to be in order of the that they were in the command prompt. Um, and then your subnet mask, and then your default gateway. Your IP address has to follow the same structure as your default gateway, although the end number must be different. For mine, I've set mine to 100, because I just find that easy to remember. So once that's done, you hit OK, and then you might get a little, a little warning, you might not. I'm just going to go ahead and click Yes, close that, and close that. And then we can forget about that, and that's the static IP set. Well, no. We need the uh, static IP that we've set. To set a static IP address in Windows XP, uh, follow the steps on this web page, and that should be all you need to do. So, uh, yeah, on to the next step. Now, you need to visit this website, whatismyip.com, to find out what your IP address is. Now, I'm click this annotation if you don't want to have a DNS to give to your friends, and you just want to give them this number. Right, so now that we have this IP address, let's go on to move getting a DNS. Now here, this website, freedns.org, I will provide all links in the description once again. Uh, create an account on here, click on subdomains, and I already have one here, but I'll make another one. So all you need to do is click add on subdomains, type A, click your domain, so for example, crackdance.com. Uh, I'm going to call this test video. So the DNS that we get will be testvideo.crabdance.com. Silly, but you can give it to your friends. It's easy to remember. And then all I have to do is save that. And then that's done. And we'll use this further on in the video to test whether this actually works or not, which it will. Now for the firewall, uh, Windows XP users follow this website here. I'll, once again, I'll put that in the description. Now you want to scroll down to where it says adding the port exception. And you want to follow this through. It'll be very similar to what I'm about to do for Windows 7. Uh, and you'll want 25565 port number and you'll want Minecraft TCP. You know. Right. So to do this for Windows 7, what you need to do is you need to go on your start menu. 
and type in the search bar advanced firewall and there you go you should get that windows firewall with advanced security you just click on that and then this will pop up now first off we want to begin with inbound rules I'm going to go ahead and click new rule now this is a port that I want to open on my file there so I'm going to click next TCP and then will be 25566 remember that will be 25565 for you I'm just using C5566 you click allow the connection domain private and public I'm going to call this Minecraft video and click finish there we go now I'm going to make another one which is same way again but this time it's going to be UDP just like that allow the connection domain private and public and I'm going to call that Minecraft video 2 you can add little descriptions if you want right so that's it for inbound rules now we move on to outbound rules what I need to do click new rule it's pretty much the same process click port TCP this one will be 25566 I click next by default this will block the connection I want to click allow the connection so people connecting to my uh, either my DNS or the IP that I provided, depends on what you choose, can actually connect and they won't get a timeout error. So now I click next. Once again, call this Minecraft video and click finish. Make another rule. And this one's going to be for UDP. Allow the connection. Click next. Domain private and public. Next. Minecraft video 2 and then click finish and that should be everything that you need to do for the firewall although I am going to go a little bit more in depth with my antivirus firewall now some antiviruses that you have might control the firewall so this won't work for, my, for me I've got Norton Internet so what I'm going to do I'm going to click on my settings and go to network I'm going to go to my smart firewall advanced settings general rules and then I'm going to click add I'm going to allow connections to and from other computers and then only the computers inside this below oh nope I'm on the wrong bit there you go. any computer TCP and UDP only the communications that match all types and ports below so I'm going to click port range from 25565 to 25566. I'm going to hit next, that, and then I'm going to call that just Minecraft. And then I click finish. But I already have a rule created. Actually, no, I'm going to go ahead and do it. But yeah, I already have it in the list, so it won't make it. Uh, where is that? Oh, it's here. Let's double check we have all the settings correct so we don't end up breaking it. Yeah, there we go. Now, obviously, this process could be very different for those who need to have different antiviruses. Um, check on the internet, see what your different antivirus manufacturers say of how to add exceptions. Um, but that was Norton, that's how I do it. Most cases you won't need to do it, but I just do it as, a, as an extra precaution. And that should be everything that you need to do for your firewall and your antivirus. Using the IP address that we set earlier, we need to forward the Minecraft port to our IP address. Now, the interface for your home router may differ. It will probably differ a lot from what I have. Uh, so I've included a link to website portforward.com that contains tutorials on how to port forward for pretty much every router there is. This one is my old one. It links is to BIT54GS. Uh, you may have something similar to this, so I'll provide a link for that as well. Um, and I will provide a link just for the just a list of all of the different uh, routers. Right, so this is what I'm going to do. Uh, okay, then I'm going to go into my advanced settings. With all routers, you will find that it's in a tab called port forwarding. 
no matter what the interface looks like, you're looking for port forwarding. Now in here, I've, as you can see here, I've already set up a Minecraft rule, but this is for the one that's hosted on my laptop. And because I'm making this video on my desktop, I'm going to use a different port throughout the video. So any port that says 25566, that means 25565. I just can't use it because it's already in use. So I'm going to call that Minecraft 2, 25566. Once again, yours will be 25565. And then you want the protocol is TCP and UDP. Now this IC, uh, IP address, you want that as the static one that you set earlier. If I click add rule, I've got that on my list. I hit apply. That's all done. Now that's all I should need to do for that. I have a port checking tool here that I can use to help uh, test whether that actually works. So. Oh no, that's not right. I want to go into my test one. So I'll just open up this basic Minecraft server that I made before I made this video. We'll use this other Minecraft one that I've made because the other one doesn't want to work for some reason. So our server's up here. Now, if I go onto this port check website, I can also test if this DNS that we made actually works. So if you type in your DNS here, the, the address that you made, the mine is testvideo.crabdance.com, or you can click use current IP, you can check both if you want to. Now this port number, once again, that will be 25565. But because I already have 25565 being used for my laptop, which is what I host my server on, my main server, I'm going to use 25566 for this demonstration. If I check that, as you can see, that port's open. So that all works. Now that we've got all of the networking stuff out of the way, we'll start off creating the basic default Minecraft server. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and do this step by step to begin with, because all you do is download the server exe from minecraft.net slash download, link will be in the description. You just click that, you run it, you generate your world, and that's it. Um, there are a few things here that you can change. Uh, in the server properties, what you want to do is I've set my port server to 25566 because that's the port that I'm using. Uh, server IP, you want to put your I static IP that you made earlier in there. And anything else, uh, you can just go ahead and tweak the, 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 these settings as much as you want. Uh, message of the day, change that to whatever you want. Uh, you can have it whitelisted. If you do have it whitelisted, you need to add uh, the names of people to this list. Right, so that's easy done. Now, if you want to add more RAM to your server, you're going to need to do a little extra work. Luckily, it's quite simple. All you need to do is create a new text document and you can call this whatever you want, it's going to be deleted anyway. Open that, and then you're going to want this text here. This may be different for you, you might want the GUI, you might not, and you can also change the amount of RAM that you have on your server. And also your version of Java might be different, so this path might be completely different for you. I'm going to copy this over into my text document, and then I'm going to save it as run server.bat and then I'm going to save that as all files hit save now we don't need this text document anymore so that can just be deleted once I run this batch file you can see it's making all of the uh, server files that we need and I've allocated more RAM to it if you want the GUI with it just get rid of that little no GUI bit there save it and then you'll get the command prompt as well as this. And then you can use either. It doesn't matter. Anyway, close all that. So that's that. Server properties, same again. For your server port, you'll want 25565 minus 25566. Server IP. Now, this is where Hamachi users will want to pay attention. Uh, because 
this is this is my local network address if I'm going to be hosting this over the internet with port forwarding. If you're going to be using Hamachi, however, you that's wrong application. What I want is to first create a network. I'm going to call this uh, network one, and I'm not going to put a password on it. Fine, password. Okay, network MC4. There we go. So that's our Hamachi network. You provide the network name and the password to anybody that you want to play with you. And once they join, they can connect to you using the Hamachi IP that you give them. So mine is 5.33.148.182. So if I put that in, Dot one eight two. This is this will allow me to play Minecraft over the internet without the need of a without the use of port forwarding. So, but you need to have the people in your group in order to connect. So if I di if I directly connect five point three three double four eight double one eight two, as you can see, that doesn't work because I've got the wrong port in. 5566, save that. Starting the server would help. Let's it up. Trip that off to the side. So it's prepping the spawn area right now. We've got our Hamachi IP in the rock feed. Ready that. Join server. And there we go. We're in. Uh, that's not going to look too great because I'm using Camtasia. But it works. Although you will need people in your group, as I said. So some people might not want to do this. If you don't want to do that, just put the LAN address that we made earlier in, which I'm going to go ahead and do. 192.168.0.100, just like that. Oops. Making loads of mistakes. Sorry about that. Right, so there we go, we've got our server up. Just to prove that this works, I'm going to the port checker. Now I've typed in this DNS that I made before. If that if you didn't make a DNS, uh, it'll be your external address, which is just up here. Obviously you can't see that's gonna be blanked out. Uh, port number, put that in, hit check. And as you can see, that's open. So this will work. People can connect to this over the internet. If I stop that, hit check, you'll see that it's now closed, which also verifies that it works. And that should pretty much be everything that you need just for default Minecraft. Now we move on to Bucket, which is similar to default Minecraft, although you have uh, you can install mods that can change the way you play, at security, yada yada, so on and so forth. Right, first off, what you want to do, you want to go to bucket.org, the link will be in the description, and you want to download the newest recommended build. So, we download this, save that to our bucket file folder that we created, and then we'll just wait for that to do. Yeah, I'm on. Any day now. Oh my god, that download speed is awful. Right, so now that's done. What we want to do is go into there. And it's going to be the same process as adding more RAM to the default Minecraft, although it's going to be a bit different. So, what we want is I have just a list of different. Uh, things that you can use. Uh, this would be Java 32-bit, uh, Java 64-bit. Uh, that's not right. Anyway, yeah, that's my circle. Right. I have Java 7 on this machine, but I only have 4 gigabytes of RAM. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this one, which uses 2 gigs max. So I'm going to copy this over. 
Obviously, you can have Java 6, this one's there, and 64 bit, 32 bit. Right, paste that in there. Same process as before. Run server.bat to save it as a batch file. Click all files. Save. Now we close that. We can close that. By the way, I will add more. I've, I've I'll include a couple of these in the description. I won't include them all. Uh, I'll have Java 7 and I'll do Java 6 64 bit. Chances are most of you are running a 64 bit operating system. Uh, on Windows XP, this would be pretty much exactly the same thing. There shouldn't be any changes there. So we can get rid of this because we don't want that. Run our server. Same process again, except uh, get a new folder here, plugins. Now this plugins folder, what you can do, you can go onto the plugin list, the bucket. I will include this link in the description, uh, and you can just look at all the different um, mods that you can install. I say mods, uh, plugins, server side plugins. Um, but yeah, just a few examples of these: parachute, light chat. Anti swear, log block. I don't know what half of these do, but they're there. You can use them if you want them. So our server's up. All our server files are created. We can't connect to it just yet because it's not right. I want to change this port to 25566 and I want to change the server IP to my local network address that I created earlier. Now, uh, Hamachi users, once again, you want to create a group on Hamachi. Give your friends all of that information and then you want to put your Hamachi IP in here and that will be how you can uh, connect to that. Uh, anything? Oh, by the way, I forgot about that. Online mode, uh, this is basically authentication on the Minecraft server. If you have people with hacked clients trying to connect to your server, you'll want to set that to false so that way their, their accounts aren't checked on the website and they, okay, they can check. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that should be all that. Your port will be 25565. Don't know if I said that, probably. And then it will start preparing the spawn again. In the meantime, I'll open Minecraft. Click on login. Right, so multiplayer. Direct connect through my local IP address, and then boom, we're in the server. My mouse messes up because I don't know why. It's it's uh, Camtasia, but it works anywho. Yeah, can't break blocks near spawn because I'm not up, so I can do that. For you. Now, while you're in the game. Uh, you can type in slash help and uh, this is where the bucket does its thing. You have all these different commands available to you that you can use if you're up. And uh, yeah, it's just really good. So there's that. If you want to install plugins, you go onto the plugin thing, I kind of closed it, and you just drag and drop them into plugins. That's normally the only thing you have to do for installation. Uh, some of them may require a thing called permissions. I don't know if that's still working, but you need Notepad++ to edit things in that. So, uh, yeah. I'm not going to go into that because it goes straight over my head, to be honest. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. So, uh, that's Bucket. Now, because uh, we did all the networking stuff at the start, that'll just work straight off the bat. Give your friends the IP, DNS, it'll still work. Right. Uh, so I think that's all it is. Oh, no, one more thing. If you're setting up a server on Linux or Mac, uh, I have included, well, I will include a link in the description to set up servers on Linux and Mac. Windows XP will be the same as 7 for this. And I think that's it. Well, let's go through here. What did I miss? Nothing. All right. I'll detect it. And now we move on to Tech It. Uh, this is the 
most complex server to set up out of all of them. But it is worth it in the end. It's actually a really fun mod to play. Albeit quite complex. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to download these files off of the, uh, of the website. By the way, any users that want to play on your TechIt server will have to download these, uh, this Technic pack. And they'll have to set up the TechIt files. Right, so that's the Technic pack sorted. And now the TechIt server. This will come as a zip file. We'll download that. Now some of you may get an issue, which I will show you how to correct in a second. Two, in fact. Right, so here's our Technic Launcher.exe. Uh, I'm just going to cut that to the desktop. Let's get rid of that one. Anyway, so if you run this, you'll see it's downloading the launcher. And you may find that it just stops there. And you may find that that's all it does. So if that does happen and you get this problem, what you want to do, you want to press Windows key and R, and then you want to type in percentage app data percentage, and then hit OK. And then you'll see this folder called .technic launcher. You're going to open that, and this technic launcher.jar. You want to double click on that, and this is how you'll be getting to the Technic Launcher. And this won't work. That's what's happened for me anyway. It might work for you, so you won't need to take this step. So all I've done is I've created a shortcut to the jar on my desktop. Simple as that, and then it works. Right. In order to set up TechIt for your Minecraft, you just click this big box here, and then you click TechIt. And then you type in your login information, just like that. And then you're going to hit login. And then it'll start to commence doing all of the uh, mods and stuff that it sticks in there. Right, so onto the server. What we want to do is extract all the files. And then, oh, my bad. Now we don't need that, we can just delete it. Now, here, this is just Java, this very basic launcher here. Just launch that. Now, when I was doing this on my laptop, I was getting um, a bunch of errors and then something saying like seven errors at the bottom. That may be a problem with the path on your system variable thing, I forget what it's called. To fix that, you click control panel and in the search bar type in advanced and then click view advanced system settings and then you want to click on environment environment variables and then in path if you don't have it you want this this here. Uh, it says Java 7 there in order for TechIt to work, I found you need Java 7. I tried it on Java 6 and it just absolutely refused to work. But yeah, you just pop that in there and everything should work. If you do have any further problems, uh, you'll have to refer to the forums or anything else because I can't really help out with this because it's just a little bit too complex for me. Uh, so if I go into multiplayer, it's not going to work. I remember. I have to do my settings. So same as the other servers, you've got your ops, which should be me. Server properties, I want minus two five five six six. Uh, level C, you have um, I have that one. Server IP is going to be the same as before. Once again, Hamachi users, you want to create your group. You want to get that IP, which is just here, your Hamachi IP. Then you're going to chuck that in there and then save it. If you want players who have hacked clients, well, I say hacked, uh, and they don't have real accounts, just turn online mode to false. 
and um, yeah, just the different settings. This is a TechKid server. Hello YouTube. I am so creative. Right, so we'll launch that. I'm going to boot up my uh, TechKid again. Come on now. That's eight. But yeah, we'll do a quick port test here. Once again, I'm going to do the DNS. It's basically the same as my external IP address. Uh, port number check. And as you can see, the port is open. So uh, that's all good. There we go, Minecraft loaded now. Right, multiplayer, direct connect. I should show both of these working. 192.168. Nope. You'll put 255 Add server. Testvideo.crowddance.com. And as you can see, both of these work. You'll most likely want to connect over LAN, which will get a better connection that way. Oh, we're in an NPC village. Awesome. Uh, yeah, TechKit comes with absolutely tons of stuff. It's ridiculous. It's awesome. But yeah, that works. Also, your DNS. That works as well. It's a mouse. See so if I try to break this. Oh, okay. Oh yes, I made myself an off, so it does work. But yeah, there you go. That's all you need. Um, from what I've heard, this does support bucket plugins. So if there's any bucket plugins that you want to put in, you just drop them into this plugins folder here. And. Yeah, that should be pretty much everything you need to know to set up all three types of servers. Default, default with more RAM, uh, bucket, and tech it. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. If there's something I've missed, uh, I'll add it on the end when post production. But yes, um, thanks for watching. If you do have any errors, either PM me or add my steam. My steam name is just not boring. Uh, I'll include my steam profile in the link below. That's if I don't reply to your message. Chances are I will. But yeah, um, that's everything. Hamachi for all three, setting it up for all three, port forwarding, yada yada, firewalls, all that. I don't think there's anything I've missed. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And see you next time.